Wow, this sleigh is getting sexier and sexier as Hello, talk baby. as everything is breaking <laughs> in, the, in at Angela's house. All right. I think he's doing it on purpose, by the way. Turning the lights one by one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin's actually gonna let me do the introduction today. One thing that I actually wanted to talk about is finding life after. Cool. What is this? Ask Angela Fang or is it Ask, Ask Kevin Yi? Ask Angela Fang. Oh, I don't know. Hold up. So the one thing is, I think it's kind of hard after pharmacy school um, is to find hobbies again. Good for people that already had hobbies and were able to maintain it during pharmacy school. But people like me, it was really hard to kind of reconnect back again with your own, like your old circles. Okay. So I think one thing that was hard for me initially was first moving out of state. Now you made all these new friends, all these pharmacy school friends, and you're excited, but then now it's ended and everyone disperses. And then you come back. <laughs> So either you stay there or you come back home, you still have your old friends. So for people that like me, I'm really bad at keeping in touch, yeah. which is bad, but so I, you know, I, I hope you guys are better at it than me. But for people like me, it was really hard to go back to my home state and reconnect with all my old friends again mm -hmm. and kind of get things started. And I kind of found myself kind of at this pit hole where I'm working all the time and then I come home and I have my weekends and it's hard to balance out like who has what weekends off or what am I going to do with my off time because at first it was nice to just kind of veg out, watch TV, watch Netflix and just kind of zone out after work which is perfectly fine mm -hmm. but then I started to wonder like I'm so wasting my time just sitting around watching TV all day I think there's something else that I can do, be more mm -hmm. productive, have a little bit of hobbies here and there but where do you start? Where and it was, it, <laughs> <laughs> so I've actually always been good with hobbies. Like I've always had interests. Yes. Remember one time you asked me to go to a salsa class with you? Oh, oh God. so bad that shit. Man. Yeah, this guy would not <laughs> dance and I'm like, come on, just move with it. Dude, but, I, I'm not into salsa, man. But you know, that's like part of the hobbies things got me uh, living with Joe and stuff. I used to do it up pop, 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 pop. Uh, wow. With Cam, I do MMA. I read a lot of books about business. I like to do the clap. <laughs> she, she likes she likes uh, bumping and grinding. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't don't be uh, don't be fooled by her looks. I just focus on these like outside activities and plus like I really like talking to people. I go out to coffee with people. Then you just find time. You have to you know because if you're thinking about pharmacy all the time, man, it drives you fucking crazy. You need some kind of release mm -hmm. from yeah. all of that stress and that little bubble you live in yeah. and to expand yourself out of the pharmacy world because I think there was a point where I was like oh my gosh all my friends are pharmacists yeah. like I think I need more than pharmacists yeah. friends so I think you kind of have to expand and kind of reach out to other different groups and you'll start to reconnect with different people and it's just more fun and more diverse yeah so where do you recommend these people go I think fitness is one of the easiest things to do yes so I started working out and for those of you, this might be probably posted too late, but I'll be doing the OC Half Marathon this Sunday. Yeah. So if you guys are there, I'll see you there. But it's like something to kind of give yourself a goal to do. So slowly, if you have like a half marathon that you're training for, then you'll go to the gym, you'll work out, you'll meet people there, you'll eventually have people with the same, similar interests. Or if you go to the meets, you'll meet people that obviously are interested in doing these runs with you. Have you ever been to a meetup.com? Uh, like, I know how you feel about meetup.com. Have, have you ever been to a meetup.com like fitness event or anything like that? No, I have not. Yeah. Um, I can definitely give it a try, but I definitely had some bad experience with meetup. Do it. Just personal experience, so I can't judge for all. But for sure, um, I might give that a try. Yeah, and I think like a lot of time, if you want to meet people and stuff, try to find a, don't go for just for the cheapest like place. You want to find a place with a good community. So like and places college. like Barbell, bam. But I mean like communities like that. Yeah, they're community oriented. And so it's almost like a family. Try to find something like that. You want to do an outro, Angel? Um, so if you like, all the questions that we ask or if you have other questions for me maybe for kevin i don't know but mostly me right good oh, but wow. if you do you can go ahead and follow me here and <laughs> or you can follow him if you want to <laughs> you can follow me uh hashtag ask kevin me or you could uh email me at subscribers at refugeehustle.com i try my best to get to them all but you guys freaking flood my inbox so I try to get some when I can. And yeah, so guys. Um, and like this video since I did the intro. You know what? 
Angela will date me if I get a th at least a thousand <laughs> likes on this. Hey, baby. Come on. <laughs> Let's see it, fans. I'm running. I'm running a huge dry spell. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like no more pillow talk. It's like those poverty third world country things. Donate one cent a day. Look at this poor child's face. Alright. Alright, game over. See you guys later. Peace. Bye.